Should you jump off of one foot or two feet when trying to dunk a basketball? I'm gonna explain to you which is the best for you to do coming up. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life or you afraid to die. But if you don't take that leap, how you know that you can't fly? So I'm just steady taking chances and I do this shit a lot. How do you expect to score if you afraid to take this shit? Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so that you never miss another video. And comment, jump down below in the comment section if you want a free bodyweight vertical jump training program. Today's question is from Isaac Dunks. By the way, go check out his channel. Isaac Dunks has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below in the description of this video. He just started out, but go show him some love because we all need support, especially when we're just getting started. Isaac Dunks says, hey man, I prefer jumping off of one leg because I find it easier to lift off. I can touch the rim with ease, but with two feet jumping, I am nowhere near the rim. My question is, should I continue to master one foot or progress my two feet jumping? Okay, so this is a great question and, I, and a question that I get all the time. So everybody out there, every athlete in the world, including you watching this video, including me, every athlete in the world has a jumping style that comes to them more naturally. Think about yourself. Are you a one foot jumper or are you a two foot jumper? Personally, I am a two foot jumper, okay? Every athlete in the world has a jumping style that just comes to them more naturally. It feels more natural, so you do it more often, which makes it more natural for you because you continue to repeat that over and over and over. If you see people do dunk practice who don't really, aren't educated on how to actually do a dunk session, most people would practice the same dunk over and over and over or they will practice, if they're good off their left foot, one jump, they will do that one jump, left foot jump every single time they dunk a basketball. Okay, so everyone has a, a jumping style that is natural for them, feels more natural. Now, a one foot jumper is more of a horizontal jumper. You're more of a speed jumper. You can beat somebody off the lane, plant your foot and just rise up on them and just cram on them, putting them on a poster. If you're a two foot jumper, you are more of a power jumper, you're more of a vertical jumper and you, you're good at catching alley-oops, you're good from the short corner, you can just take your two steps and just cram. So your question is, which should you, you are a one foot jumper, should you practice your two foot jumps? I personally believe that it is much better to be a one foot jumper than a two foot jumper. And that's coming from me, a two foot jumper. So am I gonna go try to change my whole style and try to become a one foot jumper? No, I'm just going to practice one foot jumps as well as two foot jumps. I'll probably never be as good at one foot jumping as I am at two foot jumping. I've been a two foot jumper my whole life. I practiced that my whole life. I'm a powerful person. I am a powerful jumper, okay? So whatever style you have right now, whether you're one foot or two foot, don't try to change it. Just try to add on top of it. So one foot jumpers, if you want to practice your two foot jumps, then I think that is a good idea. But two foot jumpers, you 100% have to practice your one foot jumps. It is much more important for a two foot jumper to also be able to one foot jump than a one foot jumper to be able to two foot jump. But I think you should be able to do both. I think every athlete should be able to do two feet jumping and one foot jumping. So here's how you practice it. You go to the court, you do the same amount of reps, the same amount of jumps off of your right foot then you do your left foot, okay? You do the same amount of jumps. If you do 30 jumps with your left foot, you, then you do 30 jumps with your right foot. If you do 30 jumps with a right-left two-foot approach, then you do 30 jumps with a left-right two-foot approach, okay? And if you do 30 one-foot jumps each leg, make sure you do 30 two-foot jumps with each approach, okay? It all has to be even. We want no imbalances. We want to practice all of them. We wanna put in reps so that we can dunk any way that we want. Okay, so if you were wondering what I do when I do a jump session, is I actually start off, you know, taking some shots, just warm up my body. Then I touch the net with each approach five times. I touch the net, I, I'm jumping off my left foot. I touch it five times off my left foot. Left foot jump, touch the net. Left foot jump, touch the net. Left foot jump, touch the net. 
until I do that five times. Then I do right foot jump, touch the net. Right foot jump, touch the net five times. Then I do right left approach, touch the net. Right left approach, till I do it five times. Then I do left right approach, left right approach, till I do it five times. Then I repeat that, but I'm touching the backboard. So I go back, left foot, touch the backboard, left foot, touch the backboard, right foot, touch the backboard, right foot, touch the backboard, right left, touch the backboard, left right, touch the backboard. Then I do the rim, and then the last one is dunks. And if you can't dunk yet, use a tennis ball. If you can't even dunk a tennis ball, just touch the rim again. If you can't touch the rim again, touch the backboard again. So start with the net, then the backboard, then the rim, and then dunk. If you can't dunk, just replace that last set of dunks with touching the rim again. If you can't touch the rim, just replace that, that set of dunks and the set of touching the rim with two more touching the backboard sets. Okay, so I know this is all confusing. It's simple. Make the same amount of jumps off of every approach. Okay, make it balanced. Same amount of jumps. Touch the net, touch the backboard, touch the rim, and dunk on your grandma. Ladies and gents, that's it for this video. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell if you have not already. Leave your question down below if you want me to answer your question in a video just like this. Leave comment jump down below if you want a free bodyweight vertical jump training program and take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know. I will see you guys in the next video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life or you afraid to die. But if you don't take that leap, how you know that you can't fly? So I'm just steady taking chances and I do this shit a lot. How you expect to score if you afraid to take the shot? I was down for a little man. I took that shit to heart. Now I'm back where I started. Back, back at the start. Just gotta keep your head up. At times you'll be fed up. Keep on chasing that green. Get your bread up. That green like lettuce. Chase your dreams. Don't let up. Obsessed like a fetish. Can't be soft like a cushion. Just